Is it the right time to buy or sell Snowflake stock? In this video, we will delve deep into Snowflake. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, November 27, 2023. And now, we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. To stay updated on our latest analysis, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. You certainly don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 7, 2023, our system has identified Snowflake as a promising investment opportunity, giving it a score of 1.64. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has shown a positive growth of 6.72%. This means that on average, it has provided a daily return of 0.48% since it was identified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in a wide and horizontal trend. Traditionally, this would indicate a good selling opportunity. However, if the stock breaks through the top trend line at $171.52, it could signal a strong buy and a shift in the trend. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 0.92% change expected over the next three months. The possible return falls within a range of minus 16.22% and 1.65%. In terms of the 12-month trend, there is a projected 10.65% change over the next year. The potential return lies between minus 9.83% and 29.73%. This indicates a price range of $153.56 to $220.93 after 12 months. Our latest update on Snowflake brings us the headline. Red day on Monday for Snowflake stock with a slight loss of 0.502%. On Monday, the 27th of November 2023, the Snowflake stock experienced a decrease of minus 0.502%, dropping from $171.16 to $170.30. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 1.53%, ranging from a low of $170.08 to a high of $172.68. Over the past two weeks, the stock has shown a gain of 6.17%. Although the volume increased by 2 million shares on the last day, this occurred alongside falling prices. This could serve as an early warning sign, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, approximately $596.04 million worth of stock was bought and sold, with a total of 3 million shares exchanged. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock reached $193.94, while the lowest price was recorded at $119.27. Currently, the stock is trading at a price 12.19% below its 52-week high, amounting to a difference of $23.64. Furthermore, it is trading at 60.3% below its all-time high, which was achieved on December 8, 2020, when the stock price reached $429. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, August 24, 2023, Wells Fargo gave Snow a grade of overweight and recommended a hold action. On the same day, Raymond James gave Snow an outperform grade with a hold action. Barclays also gave Snow an overweight grade with a hold action. Mizuho Securities rated Snow as a buy with a hold action. Lastly, Piper Sandler issued a hold grade for snow with a hold action. Snowflake stock has received a general buy rating from analysts. Analysts consider the P-E ratio to be a strong buy and the price to book ratio as strong buy. The analysts have given the stock a neutral rating for return on investment. In this video, we will discuss the signals that have been identified for Snowflake stock. The Snowflake stock is currently showing by signals from both short and long-term moving averages, which indicates a positive forecast for the stock. Additionally, 
there is a general by signal from the relation between these two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. In case of any downward corrections, there will be support from the lines at $166.66 and $156.21. However, if the stock breaks below any of these levels, sell signals will be issued. Moreover, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. On the other hand, some negative signals have also been issued, which may impact the stock's near short-term development. One such signal was a sell signal issued from a pivot top point on Friday, November 24, 2023, resulting in a fall of minus 0.502% so far. It is anticipated that the stock will continue to decline until a new bottom pivot is found. It is worth noting that volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign. Therefore, it is advisable to closely monitor the stock's performance. Here are some other signals that might pique your interest. Moving average convergence divergence, there was a buy signal. Pivots, a sell signal was observed two days ago. Bollinger, a buy signal was identified nine days ago. Short-term moving average, a buy signal was detected 17 days ago. Long-term moving average, a buy signal was recorded 15 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 12 days ago. If we examine the 12-month chart, we can see the following. Short moving average, a buy signal was observed 15 days ago. The long-term moving average, a buy signal was recorded 10 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages revealed a buy signal 71 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Snowflake. Snowflake has found support from accumulated volume at $165.95. This support level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction when it is tested. When it comes to daily movements, this stock has an average range. With good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. In the last day, the stock had a price range of $2.60, representing a 1.53% change between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.5%. Before we discuss the potential trading levels for Snowflake, let's first go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio is a key indicator that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. If a company has a negative P-E ratio, it means they have negative earnings or are losing money. It's not uncommon for established companies to go through tough periods due to external factors. However, consistently negative P-E ratios could indicate insufficient profit and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is scheduled for November 29, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings report stand at $0.160. Keep a close watch on these numbers, as they have the potential to significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for Snowflake. If the stock is experiencing an upward trend, keep an eye on the first resistance level at $171.16. It's advisable to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position if you don't currently own any shares. However, if you're already holding the stock, this level could be worth considering for swing trading opportunities. On the downside, Snowflake encounters its first support level at $165.95. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point, with the potential for a rebound in stock price. The combined average rating for Snowflake from multiple analysts is buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On November 14, 2023, Kleinerman Christian conducted an insider sell of 1,500 shares of Class A common stock. On November 10, 2023, Dageville Benoit conducted an insider sell of 3,955 shares of Class A common stock. On November 10, 2023, Dageville Benoit conducted an insider sell of 13,182 shares of stock option, right to buy. 
On November 10, 2023, Dageville Benoit conducted an insider buy of 13,182 shares of Class A common stock. On November 10, 2023, Dageville Benoit conducted an insider sell of 13,182 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 53.379. Overall, insiders purchased 115,233 shares and sold 393,252 shares in the last 100 trades. Based on our analysis, we recommend setting the stop loss for this stock at $165.79, which represents a decrease of 2.65%. This stock tends to have moderate daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. Additionally, the RSI 14 is currently at 77, which significantly increases the risk. We also identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was observed just one day ago. Is Snowflake stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, several short-term signals are indicating a positive outlook for Snowflake stock. This suggests that there may be a buying opportunity at the current level. Furthermore, when examining the volatility and movements of the stock on the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to trading on Tuesday, November 28, we anticipate Snowflake to open up $0.718 and start trading at $171.02. Before we dive into the content, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. We strongly advise you to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. It is crucial not to solely rely on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we'll be discussing our current view of the stock. We value your opinion, so make sure to comment below and share your thoughts. What target do you have in mind for this stock? We appreciate your support, so remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Our team wishes you successful trading and a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us here at Stock Invest.